Hello everybody, myself Raghubir Singh, Natural Civil from Pandit Jagatram Government Polytechnic College, Sharpur. So in this series of online lectures, in this session, we will discuss on one of the subjects from the fifth semester, three year diploma course in civil engineering, that is highway engineering. And in this particular subject, we will start with the very first chapter, the introduction one. The contents of my today's lecture are the definition of highway engineering, the importance of highway engineering, history of highway development in India, in which we will see the prehistoric period roads under early Indian rulers, roads during Mughal periods, roads during British rule, roads during post-independence period after 1947, and lastly, the present scenario of roads. So straight away moving to the definition of highway engineering. Highway engineering is the branch of transportation engineering which deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of different types of roads. Coming to the importance of highway engineering, a highway engineering is important in many aspects. Number one, this engineering facilitates the conveyance of people and goods. Now these are the very good source of communication in the hilly areas or the remote areas. And of course, this highway engineering helps in the growth of trade and other economic activities of any particular country. Highway engineering helps in the cultural and social ties among the people of that particular area. Now, this engineering also helps in providing improved medical facilities, especially in the remote areas, as I said earlier also, like in hilly areas. Now, this engineering provides more employment opportunities to many people. Highway engineering enhances the land value, the value of the land adjacent to the highways, and thus bring better revenue for the government. Now these highways serve as feeders to the railways, waterways and airways. And these are the important medium during famine to provide food, clothing and medicines to the needy people. Just like in the present scenario, we are facing COVID-19 problems. So all over the world, these highways are a great medium to provide the facilities to the needy people. And last but not the least, highway engineering play an important role in the defense of a country, especially during the wars. So these are some of the points which clearly indicates how important highway engineering is. Now let's have a look on the history of highway development in India. Coming to the prehistoric periods, far, far behind the BC period, we often see the use of footpaths or pathways at that time, which are the first road mark laid on the surface of earth. Just we see today also the paths or the pathways. Then comes the introduction of wheel carts. And these wheel carts also needs the pathways converted or widened into roadways gradually and very slowly. Just you can see in this diagram also. This is a cart wheel. Then the beginning of the roads as a medium or as a mean of communication and transport starts at that time. 
Now coming to the early Indian rulers period, or I'll say the Aryan period or Mauryan period. During that time, they have Mahapathas. Mahapath, we can say in Hindi also. And these are the means of communication in Aryan period. In that period, Pakka Road, which was around 6.1 to 7.3 meter wide, was built by Bimbisara in Patna in 600 before Christ, 600 BC. Now during the modern periods, roads with the specifications were laid. Some refined uh, roads were laid where the road width, the road surface and the camber is also mentioned at that time. So we are talking a period which is before Christ. Now, during that Mauryan period, the Earth Shastra was written by Kautilya. You must have heard about this person. He was a learned man. Now, this Earth Shastra was written by Kautilya in 300 before Christ, and this gives a detailed information regarding roads with specifications during that time. Moreover, in modern dynasty, Chandragupta Maurya, in this particular period of 322 to 298 before Christ, made separate department to look after the public roads. So improvement is coming step by step. So Chandragupta Maurya introduced milestones and signposts along the roadside at regular intervals. As we see, Nowadays also, we have milestones and signposts adjacent to the roads to guide us. Then the great Emperor Ashoka further made improvements by introducing plantation of trees, digging wells, and constructing rest houses. Now, coming to the Mughal period, we saw great improvement in the roads during that period. There's a book called Chahar Gulshan, which is written by Rai Chhatar in 18th century. Now in this book, Rai Chhatar mentioned 24 important roads all over the India and explained about them. And the road system during these Mughals was one of the best systems of roads in the world at that time. The present GT road, which is also called Grand Trunk Road, it is the part of Badshahi Sadak, which is constructed by Sher Shah Suri at that time. Now coming to the British rule, which came after the Mughal period, Lord Dalhousie, he established CPWD, Central Public Works Department, which is still continuing. You must have heard about this department, which is controlled by the central government. So Lord Dalhousie established this particular department to look after the maintenance of roads. So roads received a serious setback when with the development of railways. So when railways comes into existence during British rule, roads received a setback. So Government of India Act 1919 transferred all the affairs of roads from the central government to the provincial governments, which we can say the state governments. So all the control was given to the state governments and that was not very well catered at that time. In 1927, the central government appointed a JICAR committee to report on the existing conditions of road and the responsibility was again given to the central government by this committee, JICAR committee, to look after the roads of the national importance. Now the central road fund, which is abbreviated at CRF, this was enforced on 1st of the March, 1929 on the recommendations of, of course, Jagger Committee. 
and a patrol tax surcharge was imposed to build road development fund as we pay road taxes today also so at that time jaika committee recommended patrol tax surcharge so that funds can be generated and repair work or more work can be done on the roads and 20% of the funds were retained by the central government from those funds while 80% was distributed to the provinces for the maintenance and construction of roads so in very simple words you can say that these 20% of the funds were given to the central government and 80% to the state government you can say at that time uh, those are called provinces and another important plan nagpur plan is the landmark in the history of roads in this a conference of chief engineers topmost chief engineers at that time convened by the central government and this nagpur plan this conference was held in 1943 to prepare road development program in a planned manner so we are talking about the nagpur plan a 20 year plan from 1943 now this is before independence to 1963 was finalized so we are talking about the british rule but it was not uh, in the mind of britishers that in 1947 we will get independence but they planned a 20 year plan at that time and this was finalized and all roads were classified as national highways state highways district roads and village roads so these these four classifications were done under the nagpur plan and this classification is still continue if you look into the present scenario also now indian road congress irc this was established in 1934 once again under the british rule by the central government as per the recommendations of jaikar committee once again this body irc this was formed to control standardization specifications and recommendations regarding design and construction of roads and bridges now after 1947 which we call the post independence period the targets of the nagpur plan those were achieved by 1960 through first and second five year plans you must have heard that after 1947 started the five year plans so very first five year plan that was from 1951 to 56 and the second five year plan that is uh from 1956 to 1961 in these two plans the targets of the nagpur plan was achieved another institute crri also called the central road research institute was started in 1950 for the applied research work and offering technical advice to the state governments which i was calling provinces before independence the national highway act was passed in 1956 and the central government was given full responsibility for the development and maintenance of national highways now the road development plan from 1961 to 1981 20 year plan this was finalized in 1958 at a meeting of the chief engineers and this road development plan is also called the chief engineers plan the road length was nearly doubled in this plan to that of nagpur plan since this plan came into existence after nagpur plan so its road length was proposed to be doubled in this plan in 1973 a highway research board has been set up by the government of india to identify the nature extent and priority for the road research and to advise and recommend 
comment the items of prerogative search. Now coming to the present scenario of roads in India, well, it has improved a lot. If we compare today's scenario with the past 20, 30 years also, uh, India has the second largest road network in the world today, spanning a total of 5.89 million kilometers. So it's a big figure. This road network transports 64.5% of all goods in the country and 90% of the India's total passenger traffic uses road network to commute. In April 2020, the government set a target of constructing roads worth rupees 15 lakh crores. Now again, this is a big figure, which is equal to the US dollars 2.2.8 billion in the next two years. So it is proposed from 2020 to 2022. I'm talking about the future. To widen and revamp 1.2 lakh 1.25 lakh kilometers of roads, Government of India has approved the launch of phase three of its rural road program under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, which we also abbreviate as PMGSY. Now, under the latest union budget of 2020-21, the government has allocated rupees 91,000 823 crores under the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Now you can see this is a very big figure which is given the union budget, present union budget. So government has allocated a big figure for the road transport and highways. And a total of 65,000 kilometers of roads and highways are to be constructed under Bharat Mala Pariyojana. So this is the present scenario of the roads in India and uh, my end of the lecture also. So before concluding my lecture, let's look what we have uh, seen today or studied today. We have started with the definition of uh, highway engineering. The importance of highway engineering, why it is important for us. Then we see the detailed history of highway development in India whether it is prehistoric period, it is Aryan or uh, Mauryan period, during Mughal period, uh, great improvement during British rule, after post independence period, the five year plans, and finally the present scenario of roads in which government in his uh, budget has proposed a big amount for our roads and the infrastructure. So this is all regarding our today's lecture. So thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you.